Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's a little lipped box. So it's a fold over box with a lip. It means I can get slightly more there and slightly more there. And it's made with a beautiful DSP that we've got in all different colours. And the gingham just says summer picnic. And at a summer picnic, possibly along with wasps, you might get butterflies. So that's my thinking behind the box. Obviously you can make yours any colour you like. Okay. If you work in Imperial, six by six inches. If you work in metric, take yours to 15 by 15 centimeters. On the first side, score it at one, two and three quarters, three and three quarters, and five and a half inches, which in metric is two and a half, seven, nine and a half, and 14. And then turn it round and score it at one and five inches which is two and a half and twelve and a half. So the finished size of the box, it's uh, one inch deep, one and three quarter inches that way, and four inches that way, which is two and a half, four and a half, and ten centimetres. Okay, gingham, not the best to work with in order to show what you're doing. But we might be doing a little bit of looking on the other side. Paper's gorgeous. You've seen me use the beautiful scripted pattern. Um, the Harlequin on the other side of this is, is okay. I like the gingham more. Well, that's okay because I'm going to use up all of the gingham. So there's, there's all of the score lines. What we need to do, this one here that's a rectangle, cut that one away and then cut either side of those squares. I bring this round and I'm hoping you're going to be able to see what I'm doing if I keep it in the light. So we're going to cut into the square. Okay, and then the same on this one as well. And then repeat exactly the same round here, but obviously we've got to get rid of that little rectangle first. We also need to get rid of that one. <laughs> I just suddenly thought, I need to get rid of that one too. Okay. And carry on. Force of habit that, leaving bits behind and only taking little parts away. So there we go, that's what we're left with. Okay, and it's all going to fold up and fold round and then that's the lip that's going to come in. So I want to round off that corner. some snail into these bits that I've trimmed away. And they're going to come around and form the base of the box. Okay, and then that will simply sit over the top and obviously that it will resist because it can't go any further. That's rather lovely. So this ribbon I've got, this is the first time I've used it. What is it called? Tricolor ribbon. Purple violet. But it looks very lovely with this project. So I'm going to tie myself a square knot. Works perfectly with the gingham actually, doesn't it? Trim off the ends, a bit of whisper white and some gorgeous grape. And then I've got, I had, oh, I left it over here. The Butterfly Gala stamp set. 
love this one. Um, I'm going to go with this. These, flowers. these flowers? No, they're not flowers. They're butterflies. These ones this time. Two on there. My ever faithful Winker Stella to make the colour bleed around. And get a beautiful sparkle going on. Well. Punch those with my butterfly dew out punch. And then I've got my noble peacock rhinestones. And I haven't got enough on the purple ones, so I'm going to take big, small, small. So I'm going to take a big one at the top and then a medium one and a little bitty one, although actually I technically think they're, the, no they are slightly smaller, in the centre there and a little trio of small ones there. Bend the wings around that part. And I'm going to swap and have the big butterfly at the top this time. On there. Ooh. I've got a fly away butterfly. One there, one there, and then another little scatter because you know you can never have too many rhinestones all over the box. Lovely. What do you think? I think that is so lovely. Summer garden picnic. I'm there. I'm there. <laughs> anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.